Event Lab 2.0 is the latest update to Reach Horizon 5. In this video, we're going to be showcasing every single new feature, showing you how to access the new map, what you need to do on it, the prefabs, how to create your own prefabs to earn credits and stuff like that. We're going to cover it all. Use all of the features that I showcased today and you will be able to make some insane maps on the Event Lab island. You could make a city map, a city race, you could make literally anything. And also touch on some of the missing features from this update that we didn't mention in the previous video and take a very quick look at the new customization as well. So if you load up your game and go to the pause menu in the creative hub section, you will now see the option to travel to Event Lab Island. Now that will take you to the island itself, but it won't take you to the Event Lab mode. We'll touch that on in a second. If you click on the Event Lab section, you will see two new options, one for prefabs and find prefabs. If you click on prefabs, you will see all of your available prefabs and also all of the community prefabs that you have downloaded. If you haven't downloaded any, if you haven't used any it will be empty so don't worry about that but you can go to find prefabs to view all of the custom made props that people have made out of mini props and you'll see the new flyer system in action where you can see screenshots of the prefabs themselves without just having to read the title you can actually see what you're getting so you can search for anything just scroll through here um, I like the look of the tank DJ booth so what you can do is you can click on them and download them and it will store them in your community prefab section to use in your own races. There's a lot to choose from this is where all of your prefabs will end up for other people to download if you make any. So if you travel to the Event Lab Island, you'll see that it doesn't actually put you in the Event Lab Creator, just lets you drive around. So it's pretty cool to just use as a top speed test area, um, a handling test area. You know, you could do a lot of testing on this just flat blank canvas, but you'll see that there is an Event Lab build sub, which is where all the magic happens. So if you go into there, you will see all of the other community made creations on this event lab island and again they come with flyers now they come with screenshots of the actual races which is pretty cool so when you go to create your own event lab you'll see that there are lots of new props available from the different sort of surfaces grass surfaces sort of slippery tarmac you know there's lots of i think there's five or six different surfaces available and this is where you can test the new multi-selection mode now if you click down the right analog stick as you can see here you can either select multiple props by clicking a on each one or hold a for a sphere to open up and everything that that sphere touches it will select so if you hold down a the sphere will expand until you let go of a so if you want it to be really small don't hold a for very long if you want a really big prop selection hold a until they're all selected that is where you can save your selected props with the yellow button and create a prefab it will let you instantly take a photo of your selection you can then name it whatever you want and share it for all of the community to then download over at the community prefab section that we viewed earlier and if you scroll over to the community prefab section of the props it will have all of the ones that you've downloaded so I have the tank booth that we previously downloaded here that I can now place and use on any of my event labs you can just view more pro community prefabs while you're on this section so you don't actually have to download them in advance it's just nice to have them stored there if you know what you're going to use so you can create some crazy event labs really quickly with all this stuff because most people would have made buildings if you want buildings petrol stations if you want petrol stations people have already built them it adds a lot of possibilities and obviously if you want to get another income another source of credits and xp you can create your own prefabs your own useful prop multi props for other players to enjoy and download i just made this random i don't even know what it is man just a weird looking face with eyes that i selected with the sphere took a photo of and then saved as mr blob so you guys can go and download that and use it in your community events now the prefabs that you create and share to the community are now classed as user generated categories which means that each one will have a share code attached to the prefab which means you can share a share code for a specific prop to your friends if you want them to use a specific prop. Now the quality of life changes that we're going to touch on now, the blueprint builder now has a favorites tab. As you can see down here there is now a like button when you are hovering over a specific prop and if you like loads of props they will 
now be a liked props sort of tab, aka a favourites tab, where all of them liked props will now be categorised for you to access easily if you've got a load of favourites. There are now unlimited Event Lab events displayed when searching through all of the available prefabs or just Event Lab uh, game modes and races in general. They will just keep rolling through page and page and page. There are more attachment nodes. Now the attachment nodes are these strange looking blob things here. These are where the props snap together from all angles. You'll notice a lot more attachment nodes are on different types of props. Checkpoint options are also now available. If you click the pause button when creating an event lab, there is now checkpoint options. This changes the type of checkpoint within your race, whether that's a flare or a flag. The new props which are available in this latest update, let's take a look at them. As mentioned earlier, there are the giant plots, which are the type of sort of terrain. And then you've got a petrol station and primitive shapes. Now I can imagine the primitive shapes are going to go a long way in hardcore players creating some really detailed prefabs or props I would call them. Now the area that's actually buildable within the event lab um, island is not just two kilometers by two kilometer square. The YouTuber crowned many thanks to him he looked into this and the area that is actually buildable within this event lab creator is seven kilometers by seven kilometers wide so it's not as big as the Forza Horizon 5 map but you won't need to be making something that big when you've got something so flat and so helpful as the event lab island so you've got seven kilometer square worth of building area for the event lab island and you need to remember there is an increased budget as well you are now able to place even more props than usual than on the Forza Horizon 5 maps. Now in the past you did used to be able to place more props than you now can. They sort of decreased the amount that you could place in the Horizon 5 map. Hopefully now the Event Lab Island has at least surpassed how much you could place on the Horizon 5 map. In the latest update there were treasured hunt obstacle courses also added along with a flask collectible as well. These are things that weren't mentioned in the previous video. This is all to do with the new Event Lab stuff. The flask collectible is also available as a standalone event lab prop. And as we always show it, these are the bugs and fixes from the entire update as well. Not as many as there usually is, to be honest. Horizon Creative's accolades can also be expected as per most updates. We're just going to very quickly cover the customization in the latest update as well, as there's two new body kits, one for the BMW i8, as seen right here, and then another one for the BMW M5, which is here. Both of the body kits are not full body kit presets, but more individual body kit attachments like a front bumper then a rear bumper then a spoiler you know you can pick which bits you want on not just force to put the whole body kit on as a whole there are 20 new Vorsteiner rims available as well we're going to scroll through them on screen that is the car customization that was added in the latest update that is pretty much everything we have to showcase about the new event lab 2.0 features event lab is now a game changer go and create some races if you haven't already because you can just really put your imagination into this stuff now Leave a like if you've enjoyed, guys. I'll see you all later.